if you're scared of spiders, turn off this review right now. Seriously. Turn. It. Off. <laughs> LEGO Harry Potter debuted 20 years ago, it went on for several years, and then in 2012 it stopped, and fans all over the world spent the next 6 years waiting. Finally, in the middle of 2018, a new wave of Harry Potter sets was released. All the Harry Potter sets ever released were based on the movies, so these newer ones are often just updated versions of these old ones in a sense, and by that I mean that they depict the same scenes, locations, etc. etc. In this Aragog Slayer here released in the middle of 2018, Harry, Ron and Aragog are appearing together in one set for the third time, and if you'd like to see if there were any improvements made between these three design-wise, this is how the set from 2002 looked like, this is how the one from 2010 looked like, and let me tell you right away, for me the difference between all of three of these is just huge. Our Aragog Slayer here was retailing for $40.99 or 99 euros, and it retired on the break of 2019 and 2020, and the box art is good and simple, I think that we know what to expect from this set right away. Uh, it shows us a part of the Forbidden Forest with Harry, Ron and Aragog and his offspring and this quarter or less of a tree. Uh, and it's not much of a layer to be honest, though it looks decent. And there's a minifig of Harry on the ledge and on the back you can see pretty much the same things as on the front, only rearranged and with some play features shown here as well. This is how the entire set looks like once assembled and all details you can spot here are brick built or printed as there are no stickers in this set and it's one of those builds that are small but somehow they are just enough. Well, if you don't look at the pricing in some countries at least, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. And let me start with this side build which is this tree. It's a typical filler in my opinion, though I understand it provides us with the setting and reminds us we're inside the Forbidden Forest, and judging by the set's name it should be the Aragog Slayer, though apart from few details like these spider webs, there's not much of it visible, and for me it looks almost like a quarter of a tree with some parts of the forest built into it. Technique-wise it's as simple as it gets, basically few reddish-brown arches with some grey and green tones on a 6x6 dark tan round corner plate and some smaller details for finishing, and I must say there are some good elements here. First, there are five types of plant elements in different color, so we have green, olive green, bright light green and dark green, and it's quite a good selection, plus all these different tones create a real forest-like impression for me. Second, the mushroom, it's so simple and yet it looks so adorable, plus near the base of the tree there's a printed trans clear dish with spider's web pattern, and by the way it's a very rare element, you can find it in two sets only, including this one, and it's on the light bluish grey so-called flick missile, so you can flick it from the back to, let's say, shoot web at Harry or at Ron, and technically speaking it's a play feature, just not a very good one. And third, well, I'm not sure there is a third, it's simple, it's okay, it's a quick build so you won't get bored, and as I've mentioned there's a nice selection of elements used there, but when you put them all together it looks somewhat unfinished. And of course with this set you're getting 5 small spiders, 3 in medium nougat, 2 in black, and that's quite a lot of molded arachnids as for one set. Moving on to the creature of the hour, Aragog himself, and I must say this is probably the most adorable and creepy buildable creature I've seen in any set and I'm a big fan of buildable creatures. I'm quite impressed by the way it was designed, it's very cartoonish yet quite elegant and there are some very good techniques used in this model. Let's start with the abdomen, it's sculpted absolutely beautifully, 
and it was achieved by wedges and slopes on snot bricks, mainly in dark brown on the top and black on the bottom, and it is attached to cephalothorax by two pairs of locking hinges, which allows for lifting and lowering the abdomen, and yes, I've decided that you'll all involuntarily learn about spider's anatomy, do take notes, there will be a test after this review and you'll all get the grades. Aragog is very posable and thus very fun to play with and it's all due to the way it was designed and I have to say building this model was a pure pleasure and designers of this set did a great job with utilizing some parts to the fullest, just look at this one by one plates with bar handle are angled and attached to the 4x4 dark brown round plate serving as a base of the build or the spider's sternum. There are black mechanical arms and dark brown spider legs attached to each of these small curved pieces and I must admit it looks very realistic. The top of the body, or carapace if you will, is finished with two dark brown slopes and there's a smooth transition to the head and that's the part that makes Aragog so adorable and gives him a cartoonish look, especially these beautiful one by one tiles with eye printing, which are exclusive to this set and they are attached to a simple reddish brown headlight bricks and a plate and then this to the hinge and when you lift it up you can see that Kelitzeria and Pedipalps, and yes I do hope you're still taking notes, are built in such a clever way. This section is attached to the body by two types of axle connectors, including this one in reddish brown with four bars, which kinda reminds me of a rudder, and there's a whole system of parts with bars and clips in reddish brown, dark bluish grey and black. Plus you have these great white fangs for detail and as a result of using this connection system that whole part is movable and I think it makes for a very cool play feature. This is such a well designed model really, it's a very clever and very enjoyable build. If you weren't sure if you should be affectionate for or terrified of Aragog, both Harry and Ron are feeling just the same way. They have double printed heads with smiley expression on the one side and a terrified one on the other. And you can see that when you lift their iconic hair pieces in dark orange and black and these colors match the color of eyebrow prints for Ron and Harry respectively. These minifigures are rather rare as they only appear in this set and the Hogwarts Express from 2018, though it's only because of their printed torsos. Other elements of these two minifigures are much more common, very casual and definitely nice prints on both of these light bluish grey and dark blue torsos, and both have short legs as they were kids at the time they met Aragog for the first time, dark blue for Ron and dark bluish grey for Harry. As accessories our young wizards have wands, reddish brown for young Mr. Weasley and dark brown for young Mr. Potter, plus Ron has a pearl dark grey lantern with a round trans yellow brick inside so you can see it was lit, and Harry has a white candle with a small trans orange flame as he clearly forgot what a Lumos spell is. And both Harry and Ron look very close to how they looked in the Aragog scene from the Chamber of Secrets, so good rendering of the source material here, very good minifigures and they work very well in this particular set. There's quite a decent spare part selection as for a set this size, two cheese slopes, some one by ones with stats, an extra flame, extra wands as they always come in a set of two, some greens and such, plus this one unique printed eye on a black tile. I'd say it's a good or even a very good set, but there is some room for critique. Aragog is great, I really enjoyed building it, it's well designed, it's posable, it's really fun to play with. Uh, and I don't mind the side build of a tree, I think there's a good part selection there, plus you have 5 small spiders in this set and 2 rare and very accurate to the source material minifigures. And I think it's a very fun set and any Potterhead will love it. 
Now, it's quite a small set, it contains of only 157 pieces and I don't mind that, I really love small sets. And in the US it was retailing for $14.99 and I think it's quite a fair price as for a set this size. However, in most countries of the European Union it was retailing for 19.99 euros and in Poland it was for 89.99 zlotys. And in each of these cases you'd have to pay for this set $9 more than you'd had to pay for it in the US. And I know that Euro-Dollar exchange ratio was very different in 2018 than it is today, but in Poland Dollar was even cheaper and thus it hurts me even more to compare these prices. And for that reason alone I cannot say that value price ratio is just as good for this set all over the world. Now, the test from Spider's Anatomy begins in just a few seconds, so be ready. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you around. Bye.